Hey, if you haven't checked BinaryChaos.com, please go check it out. There's a lot of interesting tools. Well, that you might or might not find interesting. One of the uh, the two more recent ones uh, are this uh, EG2 music converter. So this one, you can select the channel. It's a 16 channel. The data is from uh, um, IEG. A NeuroVista device. There's a link there. You can get the data yourself too, or just use this tool. So you can automate uh, volume and duration. Uh, automating uh, volume will obviously look at the amplitude. So when there is no a seizure, it should be lower volume. When there is a seizure, it should in theory be louder. Yeah, so this is software at the end of the, uh, was it 100 second recording in this case. So if you go in the beginning and put it to uh, 100, you could see the whole recording. It's a seizure onset and it's a quiet time after, after the seizure ends. And uh, auto duration will also adjust the, the audio play uh, length to the window size so obviously 100 is the longest you can get you can see the whole uh, the whole data uh, i think default is 10 uh, seconds let's say if you're around 14 seconds so this is the seizure onset might become louder and louder on this particular channel and and the uh, end will become softer because there is no the seizure have uh, ended and we can look at the same thing on different channels say uh, i don't know 14 from memory sounded more cheery yeah or maybe annoying um so you might do adjust uh, your volume that you're using on your machine when using the tool it's available online for you to try out for free, free as in freedom, not as in beer or GPT-4 subscription. Right, so this is this tool, yeah, to channel 14 might be too annoying. Uh, channel 1, let's look at the uh, different channels, they look different, the seizures uh, on them are quite uh, different. Yeah, it's, and obviously the longer the window size, the leggy, the leggy, leggier it becomes. So I have to be careful with that. But it's just uh, because it's loading a lot of data in there. Yes, yeah, 7 I think is default. So you have the seizure onset and then quiet after the seizure. Yeah, this one's a weird one, but kind of same shape. Uh, there are 8 electrodes on the left uh, side of the head, 8 on the right. Um, I don't remember which one's which. Doesn't really matter for this application. Here, yeah, there's something going on post seizure as well. Anyway, you get you get the drift. Uh, there's some description at the bottom. Yes, you might get some ads. Sorry for that. I have to pay electricity. Um, and the, this um, control is for wavelet uh, denoising that you can try out as well. I think it does much. So yeah, play around with it, see what you think. Let me know what you, uh, how you went. And yeah, I'll show you the frequency spectrum. There's an option to remove the whole spectrum or uh, overlay it as well. You can see the different uh, frequency components. Uh, lock to linear, frequency scale, filter, order. You can make it more or less aggressive. Uh, those parameters uh, pretty sure do not affect the music generation so they're actually from another tool they just affect the the view or maybe they are sorry. yeah the music generation is a whole uh, yeah it's these controls here so you can control the volume or set it uh, auto volume and uh, auto duration that will adjust itself to so it will play longer notes uh, if you select a longer window size.